So when you're looking at light, we know that light doesn't travel instantaneously. You have a source of light, it takes a length of t a time for light to move. Well, what does that do to your perception if you're also moving? We know that Earth goes around the sun. And as Earth goes around the sun, that you have stars in the distance and we see the stars from different angles. And so this is the effect that we call parallax. And so that shifts the apparent position of the star in the sky. The farther away the star is, the smaller the parallax. Well, there's another effect that, that the motion of Earth has on starlight. And that's what we call aberration. So aberration of starlight. So a good way of explaining this is imagine that you're sitting in a car in the parking lot somewhere and rain is coming straight down on top of you. Okay. So you look out the car and rain's coming straight down. Okay. Now, what if on the other hand, your car is moving? So you're driving down the road. Uh, uh, what does it look like the rain is doing? Well, you looking around in your car, you see you see this raindrop here, but the raindrop, you know, when you, so you're seeing it at a certain angle here, okay. Uh, but you know, as the raindrop falls, you're moving, and so it looks like the raindrop is actually moving like that. Okay, as you're driving along, because what's happening is as you're moving, this angle is not changing exactly the way it would if it were sitting still. So it looks like the, the it looks like the rain is doing something like that, and so uh, that would mean that if you're looking at a star, that the position of the star would shift slightly in the sky. And so uh, you would have starlight coming to Earth, but if Earth's moving, then what would happen is the starlight, instead of looking like it's coming right at you, would look like it's coming at a slight angle. And that's about 20 arc seconds. So that means as Earth moves around the sun, star positions are shifted by about 20 arc seconds always in the forward direction So as Earth moves. So, so this shift is is just due to the most of the earth and the interesting thing is historically this was the very first actual ironclad proof that earth moves we were pretty sure earth was moving we had all the secondary effects the coriolis effect and all these other things you know from the rotation of the earth but this is the real actual ironclad proof that earth is moving around the sun and so uh, it was an interesting sort of thing. This is not the same as parallax. Parallax, uh, the, the, the position of the Earth back and forth around the sun shifts. Uh, now, if you remember when we talked about parallax, the biggest parallax is less than a degree. Aberration is 20, or the biggest parallax, rather, is less than an arc second. Uh, it's the biggest parallax. Uh, but aberration is about 20 arc seconds. So that means this is a vastly more prominent effect than the uh, parallax measurements. That's why parallax was so hard to measure, was that this was, this was measured long before parallax itself was measured. And so eventually, once we had this, we could start measuring what parallax would be. Uh, so that's that's the uh, uh, the idea of the aberration of starlight. Uh, it's just the shift in in space.